Tanish to the Central Remedial Clinic is currently the focus of ongoing controversy over so-called top-ups to senior executives. And there are contradictory claims between the HSC and the CRC about who knew what and who knew it and when they knew it, about who agreed to top up payments. Now, at a time of, of widespread cutbacks, it's grossly unacceptable that money donated for charity would be used to line the pockets of already very <coughs> highly paid senior executives. And these latest re revelations have deeply angered citizens across the state. There's actually a crisis of confidence about how donations to charities are being used, despite the fact that 95 per cent of charities are not affected by this uh, scandal. And charities still need our support, not least because of the devastating effects of your government's austerity policies. But charities also need regulated Tanishta, and the government must move with all speed to create the regulatory authority, as you promised in July. So, Tanishta, do you accept that a full, independent inquiry is now needed to get the facts of this scandal. And would you factor into all of that the effect, because of the culture of privilege and the culture of corruption, the fact that it has in terms of your government's credibility when you yourselves are in breach of government ceilings, government uh, caps being put upon special advisors. So, on the one hand, you reel against what's happening with Thank these top-ups, but at the same time, you yourselves have allowed top-ups to your special advisors. Mm. Uh, well, first of all, I, um, I do agree that I think that people who donate uh, to, to charities, um, and I think uh, the general public who do donate to charities, I think, are to be commended for their generosity, even in uh, difficult times. Uh, I think that that work should not be undermined uh, by uh, what has happened uh, in uh, some uh, agencies and uh, issues relating to uh, the pay of, uh, of, of, of senior uh, executives. Um, in relation to dealing with it, uh, I think we have to bear in mind that uh, this issue has come to the fore uh, because the HSE has undertaken uh, a study of the different uh, agencies, the levels of pay uh, that are being paid uh, to them, and is operating uh, on the basis uh, of uh, government pay policy being, uh, being applied and being applied um, uh, consistently. Um, I, don't, I, I don't agree that um, we need some kind of a big, full-blown uh, uh, inquiry, uh, some kind of public inquiry. Uh, as, as to the levels of pay uh, in the different agencies. I think that is um, quite easily established, and the HSC uh, has sought to establish that from each of the agencies uh, that it provides uh, funding to. Uh, it is in discussion with them. As you know, there uh, is dispute between the HSE and uh, the CRC, for example, in relation to what happened about uh, whether or not a particular payment was uh, approved or level of payments uh, were uh, were approved. I'm, I'm glad that the CRC has issued a statement on that and that they've agreed uh, to cooperate with the uh, Oireachtas uh, Committee uh, on the issue. Um, the um, uh, process that uh, has been started uh, by the HSE uh, is, uh, is continuing, and uh, I think it's important that that process is, uh, is completed. I think it's important that there is uh, transparency uh, around uh, the levels of pay that are, that are paid, and that confidence, I think it's particularly important, that confidence uh, in the uh, charitable sector uh, and in charities and in bodies that are in receipt of uh, donations from the public, uh, that that confidence is, uh, is restored, and I believe it will be. Uh, May I just hazard a guess, Tanish, to that if this happened on Pena Foy's watch, that you would be calling for a fully independent inquiry? And I, I, I see no rationale between you, between you rejecting, between you rejecting this very simple, straightforward request, because you see there is a culture of privilege, and it's continuing on your watch. 
and we need to be alert to the fact that this could go beyond the uh, CRC. And you have to acknowledge, you said, if I got you properly, you know, that, that they're in breach of government pay policy. But sure, the government's in breach of government pay policy, and that therefore creates uh, a, a difficulty. Now, you know, if there's just enormous, and you, you won't just simply, people are very charitable, and I agree with you entirely when you commend those who give to uh, charities, but nobody who, who, who gives money for a piece of equipment or to help a child or to help an elderly person or to, you know, get research done into some of these ailments that affect uh, our, our sick citizens. Nobody Thank wants that to be then used to top up already extravagant salaries. In 2011, Minister Howland, a Labour minister, cleared Minister Riley, then a Gale minister, to pay a salary of 195000 to the then acting chief executive of St Vincent's Hospital in Dublin to take over HSE so hospitals question, please, Deputy, in the West of time. Ireland. Thank you. Now, Tanister, is that why you won't agree to a full independent inquiry into this scandal? Because two of your ministers have breached your own government's pay policy, and two of your ministers have also agreed on this huge salary and defiance of all that what you have just said. Thank Was you. that the reason, Tanister, why you won't go for an independent inquiry into this scandal?